Hey guys, Ashley here. Just wanted to show you, this is our 2021 Bronco Badlands Sasquatch package. Op7 gave me the opportunity to install the Aura Pro underglow kit on the Bronco. Now I'm gonna pass this off to my better half so he can better explain how to install the kit. So here's everything laid out on the table. You've got the two long strips for the sides of the vehicle, two short strips for the rear, lots of zip ties, use taps if you want to hardwire it in. There's the control module, the hardwired wires, mounting hardware, and the cigarette lighter option. Scan that for the instructions. So we're fortunate enough to have the Bronco Badlands with the switches overhead. This is just us trying to identify what switch we want to use. We decided to go with AUX4 because the other lights were on five and six. We are stumbling through the manual trying to identify the cable that belongs to AUX switch 4. We pull it up now and find out that it is the brown cable with a 10 amp fuse. So we won't even need to use the supplied fuse tap with this setup because these AUX switches in this vehicle are already fused. We found the brown wire that belongs to AUX switch 4 here. We're going to connect a female lead to it, crimping it on heat shrinking it down, plugging in the power for the module, and now we take the male in that we connected to the module and plug it into the female that belongs to the aux switch. There's a ground right there by the wire bundle for this vehicle, so we're going to loosen the bolt there for that and we're going to slide the ground from the control module right underneath there, tucking away the cables as best we can, and here we're just plugging in the light strips into the control module. Put some electrical tape around the edges and over the holes on the control module because it's not really weatherproof, but this should be good enough in the engine bay. Now that we've got it all connected together, moment of truth, we turn on AUX4, and there it is. Badlands has a really big skid plate up front, so we couldn't put the light strip up there underneath it without exposing it to the rocks or terrain. So instead, we put it underneath the grill here, shining up on the radiator. This is the back of the vehicle looking straight up above the muffler. We used a two-part epoxy and actually glued neodymium magnets to the back side of the light strips. That way the magnets just hold the light strips onto the body of the Bronco and we didn't have to screw holes into the body. They're really strong, you can get them at Home Depot. Packs of six, really cheap. The side strips we put in between the rock rails and the frame. There's a nice cubby up there, it holds them really well. Now this is where we ran the cables along the top of the frame, in between the body and the frame, all the way up to the front wheel well to run the cables into the engine bay again. Once we got the cables cleaned up and tucked away, Ashley connected the app via Bluetooth and verified everything was working the way it should. All right, now that the hard part is done, go ahead and download that Op7 app that's available on Google Play and Apple Play. Once you get it open and running, you will go ahead and connect via Bluetooth. Go ahead and click which vehicle you want to get started. Since I have both glows on the Civic and on the Bronco, I selected both. Here is where you can see the different options for lighting, the way you want it to move, so solid, strobe. You can even sync it to music, so I think that's really cool. And here's how it looks with both of the vehicles. Alrighty, and then to elaborate on this app, since I have two different glow kits on two separate vehicles, I only need one Op7 app to go ahead and control both. So have fun and light it up.